Hey Tony here. Today I'm going to show you all of the items that I picked up during the month of April, so stick around. So today I wanted to take time to show you all the items that I picked up during the month of April. It was a big month, a lot of good releases, some 4K releases, some box sets, some um, foreign releases. So very happy to have these in the collection. First up, I'm going to just go over the Warner Brothers 100 um, anniversary box sets that I picked up. <clears throat> I did get Volume 1, which features the uh, um, award winners. Really nice looking box set. I am going to keep these sealed up for now, hoping that they'll go on sale. Um, I got Volume 2, which is comedies, dramas, and musicals. Another great looking box set. Of course, the majority of these I already have in the collection, but I do like the boxes. Um, volume 3 is for fantasy, action, and adventure with a silver box. And then we have Volume 4, which is thrillers, sci-fi, and horror with a black box. So very happy to have these in my collection. Very nice addition. I do like the box sets and these will look great on the shelf. <clears throat> also during that first week I got Copperhead. So here's the Snake movie with this slip cover. I'm not very familiar with this one but I did, um, I did pick that one up. I got the 8 diagram pole fighter. This right here is an arrow release with a slip. I also got the Big Easy from Kino Lorber. I got After Sun from A24. I got the Maltese Falcon on the 4K Steelbook. Beautiful looking Steelbook. I did an unboxing of that if you want to check it out. I also got the 4K Slipcover Edition. And then I got the Cool Hand Luke Best Buy Exclusive 4K Steelbook. I also got the Zavi Exclusive 4K Steelbook. It may not have been a Zavi Exclusive, but it was a UK release. And I also got the Slipcover Edition. Enjoyed this film. And then we got some Star Trek 4K releases. I got Nemesis with the slip. Insurrection. First Contact. Generations. And I also got the Volume 2 for Mickey and Friends, the 10 classic shorts with a slip. So those are all the titles that I got during the first week. Okay, during the second week, I got um, Gorgeous. This right here is an 88 Films release, a um, Jackie Chan film. Also got First Mission from Arrow. I got The House of a Thousand Corpses, the 20th anniversary steelbook release. And I also got this really beautiful looking box set. I really like this hard box, very nice looking release. We got Flash Dance on 4K steelbook. And the 4K with the slip. We got Steve McQueen and Hell is for Heroes from Kino Lorber. <clears throat> they came to Cordua. Infinity Pool on Blu ray. Bless the Child from Shout Factory. I got the Brave Archer collection from Shout Factory. Really nice box set. I got Scare Package, Rad's, Rad Chad's Revenge. Wish it would have had a slip. We have Devil's Peak. A Lot of Nothing. One Fine Morning. Amnesia, which I watched. Pretty good movie. I got this four film action movie collection. It's got Vertical Lemon in it, which I really enjoyed. Um, I don't believe I've seen the other ones, but um, should be really good. And then I got Batman and Robin 4K box set. And also Batman Forever 4K box set. Okay, during the third week, I got Living with Chucky, the documentary. Really nice looking slip. I got 12 Angry Men on 4K from Kino Lorber. 
I got Serpico 4K release from Kino Lorber. I also got the Street Fighter Trilogy from Arrow Video. And I got the Double Life of Veronica with a slip cover. I got Marlowe. A fun movie, Cocaine Bear. Very happy to have that one in the collection. All-Star Superman 4K release with a slip. Kids vs. Aliens. Transfusion. I got Rebel Without a Cause with this beautiful 4K slip cover. And I got the 4K still book. I got the Thing still book. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 4K release from Second Sight. I was also able to get the Three Colors Trilogy box set. Very happy to have this one in the collection. The Haunting of Julia 4K release. I got Naked Lunch 4K release from Arrow Video. I also got um, Creeping Horror with these four titles from Eureka. I got The Sword and the Claw from 101 Films. And also I got the AGFA Horror Thriller Show from 101 Films. And then lastly for the third week I was able to get the Superman 4 um, K collection with this beautiful looking tin. Um, I'm going to keep this one sealed up for now. I'm hoping that there is actually a Amazon exclusive US release that I ordered. Hopefully I'll be getting that and then if I need to I can sell this one. So that was a really nice set for the third week of April. So for the fourth week of April I got The Man Who Fell to Earth 4K release um, from Best Buy. Um, from Vinegar Syndrome I got The Cat Creeps with this beautiful looking slipcover. And also Vacation of Terror 1 and 2. And Red Cockroaches with a slip. And then I got this film, um, Compromat, Compromat, The Dark Art of Blackmail. I got Suicide Club with a slip. I also got Sonic X, um, the Japanese version and the English version, the complete series with slips. I got His Dark Materials Season 3. Jesus Revolution, which I'm looking forward to watching that. I got this Justice League um, Superheroes and Huntsman Part 1, Primal se um, Season 2. I got Lover's Lane from Arrow Video. I got Holy Spider from the UK. I got this um, Studio G Kids release for New Gods Yang Jin. I got the Shop Factory, Screen Factory um, exclusive double feature for Crime Zone and Future Kick. Also the exclusive for Sorority House Massacre. I got Calamity of Snakes with this really nice looking slip. And I also got um, the Center Seat, 55 Years of Star Trek, the DVD, um, I guess, documentary. So very happy to have that. So those are all of my pickups for the month of April. Like I said, it was a very busy month. Very happy that I was able to add all these to my collection. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the titles that I picked up. And also let me know some of the titles that you were able to pick up. Because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you had subscribed. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.